All right, and how about this one? Let's express the force as a Cartesian vector. Let's think F equals FU. Uh, so I, I notice that these are coordinate direction angles. Um, and I'm only given two of them. I can find the third one. How can I do that? Cosine 60 squared, cosine 45 squared, cosine beta squared adds up to 1. Uh, so that means cosine beta plus or minus 0.5. That could be... Uh, 60 or uh, 120. All right, is it 60 or 120? So you see these lines are meant to kind of show, help you visualize what quadrant it's coming into. If this was just here to the YZ plane, it would be 90 degrees. All right, even though it looks greater than 90 degrees, but if it was just here to that plane, it would be 90 degrees. Because this is behind that, right, it is larger than 90 degrees. It is one, it's going to be the 120 degrees. All right. So now, because they are coordinate direction angles, I'm thinking F equals FU, where U is cosine alpha I plus cosine beta J plus cosine gamma, la, la, cosine gamma K. And I know alpha, beta, gamma, I know the magnitude, I'll write it as a vector. So this force would be 60, it's a magnitude, times cosine alpha, uh, it is 60 degrees to I, plus cosine beta. Now, I always do this to the positive axis. So what is its angle to the positive y-axis, uh, that would be this 120, cosine 120 in the j, all right, plus cosine 45 in the k. So that's what I would do. Here's your other option, all right? I, I, I might do this and then erase it. Our other option would be cosine 6 in the i. All right, so if this is 120 to positive y, and sometimes it might it might tell you all right, if this is 120, then that means that it is 60 degrees to the negative y. So sometimes the figure won't show you the angle to positive. It'll show you the angle to negative. What should you do if the figure shows you the angle to negative? Well, you could do what I do and just make it to positive 120. Or you could say minus cosine 60, right? All right, so those are your two options when you have either an angle that's greater than 90 degrees, then do plus the angle greater than 90 degrees, or you could do minus the angle to the negative axis. And you see that, and think, think about co how cosine works, right? Uh, that would give you the same answer um, because cosine of 60 is negative, uh, or cosine of 120 is th the negative of cosine of 60. So either of those are correct. Here's what's not correct. Yeah, it would not be correct, cosine 60 in the I, to put negative and the angle to the positive axis. Right? So take a look at that. This is not correct right here. Right? This last one is not correct, but the first two are correct. Okay? I'm going to erase that, and I am generally... I like to just um, write the, have all of these positive and have all of them the angle to the positive coordinate axes. All right, so multiply that through and get F would be 30I minus 30J plus 42.4 in the K. Units are Newtons. Now, I don't think we've done any, you probably will have some for homework, but w w why are we doing this? So that we can add them. So if you have two vectors, then write both of them in, in, as Cartesian vectors and then add up the i's together and add up the j's together, add up the k's together. Don't add i's with j's. Don't try to combine them too much. Um, keep them separate. But if you have two or three vectors, Step one, break them into their components. Step two, add the components together 
and, and then you've got your final result. So uh, work on the homework uh, for, for all of these problems for coordinate direction angles.